Well, it looks like the hour's arrived, and it's uh, my privilege uh, to say good morning, everybody. Very happy to see you all. My name is uh, Pastor Dale Burke, and I'm filling in for Pastor Keith today. He was on the mainland this past week for our uh, Synod Assembly, and when he got home last night, he wasn't feeling very well, and he tested with those tests, and he tested positive. So uh, not a good idea for him to uh, be amongst us today. Uh, he's feeling well. Uh, but uh, resting comfortably and hopefully in these days that lie ahead uh, that the symptoms won't be too much. You know, as much as that's going around, probably sooner or later, all of us will probably get some kind of a touch of that, but uh, we'll certainly pray that we do our very best to be safe for ourselves and to be safe for our neighbors. So it's a joy to be uh, with you today. I got the call at seven o'clock this morning. He tried everybody else. I was the last on his list. I want you to know that right off the bat. And uh, so uh, we filled in for him at the 8 o'clock service today and uh, honored to be here uh, today at our 11 o'clock service. We will follow the order of worship as it's uh, presented uh, in our bulletin. And um, with that, I invite you all to please rise as we gather together as the family of God. The Holy Spirit calls us together as the people of God. The Gathering Song. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, for the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the church of God, and for the unity of all. Let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house, and for all who offer here their worship and praise, let us pray to the Lord. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious Lord. A puli kako, let us pray. Bountiful God, you gather your people into your realm, and you promise us food from your tree of life. Nourish us with your word, that empowered by your spirit, we may love one another and the world that you have made. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Please be seated for the hearing of God's Word. A reading from Acts. During the night, Paul had a vision. There stood a man of Macedonia pleading with him and saying, Come over to Macedonia and help us. When he had seen the vision, we immediately tried to cross over to Macedonia, being convinced that God had called us to proclaim the good news to them. We set sail from Troas and took a straight course to Samothrace, the following day to Neapolis, and from there to Philippi, leading city of the district of Macedonia and a Roman capital colony. We remained in this city for some days. On the Sabbath day, we went outside the gate by the river, where we supposed there was a place of prayer. 
and we sat down and spoke to the women who had gathered there. A certain woman named Lydia, a worshiper of God, was listening to us. She was from the city of Thyatira and a dealer in purple cloth. The Lord opened her heart to listen eagerly to what was said by Paul. When she and her household were baptized, she urged us, saying, if you have judged me to be faithful to the Lord, come and stay at my home. And she prevailed upon us. The word of the Lord. Please join me in reading responsively Psalm 67. May God be merciful to us and bless us. Let your way be known upon earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. For you judge the peoples with equity and guide all the nations on earth. Let all the peoples praise you. God, our own God, has blessed us. May God give us blessing. And may all the ends of the earth stand in awe. <clears throat> the reading from Revelation. And in the spirit, one of the angels carried me away to a great high mountain and showed me the holy city, Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God. I saw no temple in the city, for its temple is the Lord God, the Almighty, and the Lamb. And the city has no need of sun or moon to shine on it, for the glory of God is its light, and its lamp is the Lamb. The nations will walk by its light, and the kings of the earth will bring their glory into it. Its gates will never be shut by day, and there will be no night there. People will bring into it the glory and the honor of the nations, but nothing unclean will enter it, nor anyone who practices abominations or falsehood, but only those who are written in the Lamb's book of life. Then the angel showed me the river of the water of life, right as crystal flowing from the throne of God and of the Lamb through the streets of the city. On either side of the river is the tree of life, with its 12 kinds of fruit, producing its fruit each month, and the leaves of the tree are for the healing of the nations. Nothing accursed will be found there anymore, but the throne of God and of the Lamb will be in it, and his servants will worship him. They will see his face, and his name will be on their foreheads. And there will be no more night. They need no light or lamp or sun, for the Lord God will be their light and they will reign forever and ever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Holy Gospel according to John. I invite you to please rise. Jesus answered Judas, not Iscariot. Those who love me will keep my word, and my Father will love them, and we will come to them and make our home with them. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words, and the word that you hear is not mine, but it is from the Father who sent me. I have said these things to you while I am still with you, but the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of all that I have said to you. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not let them be afraid. You heard me say to you, 
I am going away, and I am coming to you. If you loved me, you would rejoice that I am going to my Father, because the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you this before it occurs, so that when it does occur, you may believe. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, O Christ. Please be seated. Let us pray. Gracious God, it is good that we can come together as a family of faith, as a family of your son. Today we give you thanks that in these moments of worship you nourish us by your word, you nourish us at your holy table, and you nourish us by the fellowship of those who also love you. Lord, fill us again today with your Holy Spirit, will fill us with the things of your kingdom and strengthen us that as we go forth into the world, may we truly bring that love to the world with which you have loved us. And may the words of my mouth and the meditation in my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Amen. Once again, I say good morning, everybody. Wow, very good to be here. You know, I got the call about seven o'clock this morning uh, to fill in today and to show you how retired I really am. I can't find any old sermons. So today I'm going to share with you uh, what's in my heart today as we consider the lessons, as we consider the family of faith, and we consider what God is doing among us. And it's a joy to be here. I'd like to ask you a, a question. What to you would be the greatest compliment you ever received? Can you think of any time someone said something really nice that lifted you and just kind of made you really feel alive because somehow you made a difference? Well, I got to tell you about my favorite compliment ever that I received. And it happened uh, many years ago when we started bringing food down to the IHS, which is downtown. Uh, the homeless ministry. It was in a small building like this on Baratania Street. And uh, they would put a couple tables out and people would gather and come through the line and, and find a place to sit and eat. And so it was our day today to, uh, to bring the food down there. And uh, for all of the guests that came, there was only one rule. And that is, if you cause any trouble or fight, you get kicked out. That was it. Well, right after we started uh, serving the food, uh, one of the guys got a little unruly in line. He wanted to be a, a little farther ahead. Uh, so the local bouncer had to send him outside of the facility. Well, I didn't think much about that, but I'm kind of walking around. I have my black clergy collar, uh, like kind of today, but all black shirt. And I was kind of walking around like I was doing something, but just kind of saying hello to people. And all of a sudden, I hear from the window, a guy going like this. And I walk over, and he goes, hey, waiter, can I get some food? It was the guy that had been kicked out. Now, I'd been called a lot of things. But hey, waiter, probably the greatest compliment I've received. What is a waiter? But one who serves, and one who is recognized as one who serves. And it is indeed the waiters in our community that lift us and bind us together in many ways. Wow, my greatest compromise. Hey, waiter, I'll never forget that, to be noted in that regard. Well, Jesus talks about uh, giving the gift of the Holy Spirit after he has gone into heaven, the advocate. And that gift of the Holy Spirit, which we're going to celebrate in Pentecost in a few weeks, is going to teach us and remind us and is to bring us together and to help us know what it means to love. 
And so uh, the whole uh, gospel is centered on the fact, we, we could summarize the gospel in, in about 12 words. The gospel can be summarized in the words that we use in one of our other communion liturgies, that Christ has died, Christ has risen, Christ will come again. Exactly. A summary of the gospel. And that's what Jesus has done in opening the doors of heaven to all of us. And he will come again. And so it is for us today to know that love that strengthens us, which is kind of our mission as a congregation, to be reminded that the Holy Spirit continues to bless us with a sense of his presence. And what is that presence calling us to do? Take care of our neighbor, to love our neighbor. And that certainly is the challenge of our congregation always. What are the ways we can make a difference in this community then maybe the community can refer to a hey waiter around here. Who is the greatest? You know, uh, James and John were arguing with Jesus walking on the road to Jerusalem about who is going to be the greatest. And Jesus finally told them, look, the greatest among you is the servant of all of you. And so that kind of is what sticks in my heart today as we're reminded of what Christ has done for us on the cross, as we're reminded of what it means to be in fellowship to be the church. The fact that we can bring love into this community tells the world that every person counts. That's what this community needs to know. Every person counts. And may Christ's love fill us with strength and energy and joy in our serving. Amen. We're going to share together the uh, hymn of the day, and we can stay seated, and we'll do two verses, verses one and two. Please rise as we confess our faith together in the words of the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became truly human. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, 
who proceeds from the Father and the Son, with the Father and the Son is worshiped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Set free from captivity to sin and death, we pray to the God of resurrection for the church, people in need, and all of creation. God of new life, open your church to the unexpected ways your spirit is at work. Guide bishops, pastors, deacons, and lay leaders in their visioning, partnership, and planning. We pray especially for the new bishop and hopefully um, surround us with your peace. E ka haku. Aloha, te akua. Give a vision of increase and abundant harvest for farmers, laborers, and gardeners who are beginning their growing season. Join their efforts with the goodness of creation to feed all living things. E ka haku. Te akua. Shine your light of wisdom and peace among nations. When those in power seek to assert dominance over others, confound their ways and make them yield to your humble authority. We pray especially for the peoples of Ukraine, Ethiopia, Palestine, Yemen, and Myanmar. Eka haku. Aloha ke akua. Give safe haven to those who seek healing, liberation, or peace. We especially remember all those whom we name in our hearts in whose names we now speak aloud. Create places filled with hospitality where hurting people find your living presence and wholesomeness. E ka haku. Aloha ke akua. Uphold the work of ministries and organizations in our communities who assist people experiencing homelessness, citizens returning from prison, and all marginalized people. Accomplish your will through their efforts. E ka haku. Aloha, ke akua. And let's celebrate the birthdays of Bill, Jeff, and Joy of Christ Lutheran Church, Pastor J.P. Sabithi. Assemble your people at rivers, streams, and fonts, where we remember our baptism and welcome others into the communion of saints. Gather us with those who have died, especially our loved ones in the faith when we meet together at the river of life. E ka haku. Aloha, ke akua. In your, mercy, In your mercy, O God, respond to these prayers and renew us by your life-giving spirit. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Amen. Let us confess our sin in the presence of God and of one another. We pause for a moment of silence and self-examination. Most merciful God, we confess that we are captive to sin and cannot free ourselves. We have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us, forgive us, renew us, and lead us so that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your holy name. Amen. In the mercy of Almighty God, Jesus Christ was given to die for us. And for his sake, God forgives us all our sin. 
as a called and ordained minister of the Church of Christ and by his authority, I therefore declare to you the entire forgiveness of all your sin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Friends and neighbors, brothers and sisters, the peace of Christ be with you always. And you know the drill. You know how we share the peace here. And may that peace of Christ be shared with us all. All right. You may be seated. An offering prayer. A pulikako, let us pray. Living God, you gather the wolf and the lamb to feed together in your peaceable reign, and you welcome us all at your table. Reach out to us through this meal and show us your wounded and risen body that we may be nourished and believe in Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Please rise as we prepare the table and share the great thanksgiving. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is indeed right and our duty and our joy that we should at all times and in all places give thanks and praise to you, almighty and merciful God, for the glorious resurrection of, your, of our Savior, Jesus Christ, the true Paschal Lamb who gave himself to take away our sin, who in dying has destroyed death and in rising has brought us to eternal life. And so with Mary Magdalene and Peter and all the witnesses of the resurrection, with earth and sea and all their creatures, and with angels and archangels, cherubim and seraphim, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. and loving God, we praise you for creating the heavens and the earth, and we bless you for bringing Noah and his family through the waters of the flood, for freeing your people from the hands of slavery, and for sending your Son to be our Redeemer. We give you thanks for Jesus, who living among us healed the sick, fed the hungry, and with a love stronger than death, gave his life for us. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread. He gave thanks and he broke it. And he gave it to his disciples saying, take and eat. This is my body it is given for you. Do this to remember me. Again, after supper, he took the cup and he gave thanks and he gave it for all to drink saying, this cup is a new covenant in my blood, poured out for you and for all people, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me.
remembering therefore his life-giving death and glorious resurrection, we await your promised life for all this dying world. Breathe your spirit on us and on this bread and on this cup and carry us in your arms from death to life that we may live as your chosen ones clothed in the righteousness of Christ. Through him, all glory and honor is yours, almighty Father, with the Holy Spirit in your holy church, now and forever. Amen. We pray together as our Lord has taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial. Deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. These are the gifts of God for the people of God. Come, for it all is now ready. Please come. of Christ broken for you. The blood of Christ broken for you. The body of Christ broken for you. The blood of Christ broken for you. The body of Christ broken for you. The blood of Christ broken for you. The body of Christ Let us pray. We give you thanks, generous God, for in this bread and cup we have tasted the new heaven and earth, where hunger and thirst are no more. Send us from this table as witnesses to the resurrection, that through our lives all may know life in Jesus' name. Amen. The announcements I believe are in the bulletin. Might anyone add any other uh, items to the uh, listing of activities that might be before us? Yeah, Tom.
Outstanding. Thank you for sharing that. And we will be announcing that as we get closer to that particular day. What a great need that is. Thank you so much for sharing that. Other announcements to be? Well, let's go with a blessing. God, the author of life, Christ, the living cornerstone, and the life-giving spirit of adoption. Bless you now and forever. Amen. Our sending song, we'll do three verses of our sending song. Hallelujah, Christ is risen. Indeed, hallelujah. Go in peace. Tell what God has done. Thanks to God. to God. Excellent. Thank you all. God bless you. Have a great week. Stay safe. Take care of one another. May love continue to fill us with all good things. Amen. And get better, Pastor Keith. God bless you. Thanks. Hey, way to go, man. You did good, buddy. Did I turn this thing on? No. They can still hear me. I don't want to.